Okay, I welcome you to the channel as uh, Nota Bene Tech on Tube and with my new video and also with some interesting topic on it which is all about to white paper, the definition and how to write an effective white paper document. So first of all the definition and later in the second part of uh, the video I'll just tell you, uh, I'll share you a blog so that you can know how we can write a full-fledged white paper document. A white paper is an authoritative guide or report that explains the benefits of a particular technology product or policy. White papers are published on the web and in print by researchers, organization vendors and consultants. White papers are commonly used to describe the theory behind a new technology or computer methodology. Uh, Technopedia explains white paper. Historically, white papers were legislative documents that explained policies, actions, and methodologies and were often uh, published to invite public comment. Today, white papers are divided into the following categories. Policy supports a political solution to societal challenges. Technicals describe the theory behind a specific new technology. Business marketing explains benefits of a methodology, product, or technology. Hybrid combines business marketing and technical white papers and may be used as sales tool. White papers streamline decisions and troubleshooting by explaining a particular topic, uh, niche, or industry as follows. Development results and benchmarking testing new technology, social or philosophical positions, organized or collaborative research recommendations. So this is the brief definition of uh, the uh, white paper policy in terms normally you can have in the house of uh, uh, normally when you especially in the UK political system when you want to have uh, um, a new uh, you can say a usage uh, of uh, a common law uh, so normally the the laws are actually first need to be into uh, first documented with the help of uh, a white paper so this historically white papers uh, are the part of a law in the legislative system and it's been in, in, the, in the legislative system for quite a while so that is the first part the historical speak the historical perspective and as far as the political perspective and uh, just to take uh, what are the challenges behind any uh, new law so that's that's you have to have a white paper before uh, just for the clarification and just to add some more details uh, to uh, to a full-fledged law make uh, to, to the law obviously by the law making authorities and technical this is the uh, which is most effective and most uh, important part because technical describes the theory behind a specific new technology we have to have a theory because uh, we are uh, as in channel is a nota bene tech on tube so this is uh, this is uh, a, uh, an essential part of actually getting into a new technology reading about a new product new technology that is why we have to first uh, read out a white paper what it says about especially especially when we are in a marketing uh, uh, marketing or in a sales uh, uh, position because unless we do not have the technical know-how of a new technology or a product we cannot sell the product as per uh, the, uh, uh, as per uh, the technical specification and also that may help us to portray the exact position of the organization business marketing explains benefits of a methodology product or technology that is also a part of a technical uh, actually uh, side of a uh, white paper because as I said earlier you have to uh, as in sales and marketing team you have to know uh, the whole uh, uh, the, the methodology product or the technology involved so this is the part of uh, the uh, technical side so hybrid combines business marketing and technical white papers and may be used as sales tools so this is I have discussed uh, the whole uh, I have discussed uh, this hybrid in, for, in technical and business marketing so just combining these two you can have uh, a very effective sales tool. So after you get an effective sales tool, tools you can actually uh, streamline decisions and troubleshooting by explaining up a particular topic niche or industry so it's all about the development development results and benchmark uh, testing new technology social or philosophical positions organize a collaborative research recommendation so these normally 
it's not just a one step a one step process i'm going to tell you in in the second half uh, in the second half of the video that it's not just a one step process it may involve different steps and you keep on changing not not just from the presentation point of view but also from uh, the development of a product point of view as well because uh, the, as a technical writer, what I've told you in my video as a technical writer, as also as a technical writer and the, uh, the skills required in talking technical document because obviously uh, it's the job of a technical writer to get all the details during uh, the, uh, to be uh, a spokesperson of uh, the customer. Okay, so they're going to take on the information, information from development point of view, from development of a product, uh, during the development of the product and until it has been fully uh, developed. So all uh, the phases uh, and all the phases, uh, the technical aspects uh, need to be uh, handled and also they need to be handled by the experts and also they ha there's always a need uh, for a proper documentation. So white paper is uh, one of the document, uh, document that may help uh, to get all the angles, not just the technical, but also the uh, from the engineering point of view and from the what were the uh, re reaction of a society or from the philosophical uh, position that how the usage of a certain product may impact a philosophy uh, or, or a society as a whole or may impact actually uh, the uh, psycho psychological uh, um, angle as well or the psychological uh, thought process of uh, the customers so this is uh, a very very effective when you are actually uh, uh, when you are producing and when you are actually uh, developing a product so you have to have a sound a technical uh, team and also you have to have a sound white paper updated on a regular uh, a regular uh, basis especially by the subject uh, after the input of the subject matter experts and also uh, during the uh, after the inputs of the different uh, segments uh, of uh, um, uh, of uh, you can say the society or the environment in which uh, an entity is operating or when in which uh, the entity is producing or selling so I'll just uh, tell you about how to write a basic white paper document in an effective way in my second half of the video so keep watching okay hello guys I welcome you to my channel Nota Painted tech on tube yet again with a different video and uh, just telling you about how we can write about uh, a perfect white paper I have actually told you definition and uh, it's a it's a blog or the, it's, it's a site a uh, care post blog and with that blog we're going to tell you that what is all about the white paper or the perfect white paper eight steps to the perfect white paper actually template is is in this uh, this link or in the blog link it's by Gene Spencer on uh, written on uh, or posted on September the 4th 2014 uh, white papers are a powerful resource for B2B buyers during the decision making process 78% of B2B buyers say they use white papers when searching their purchasing decisions compared to only 28% who cite interactive presentations as part of their content mix but often design resources are strapped or already uh, maxed out and budgets are allocated to other places. It's unlikely you have a few hundred or thousand dollars lying around to build out new white papers. So it's the download uh, link is there. You can, but obviously getting uh, the whole step for the whole process. Just want to read out the detail. What are the whole? Uh, what are the full process of the steps involved in uh, writing a good white paper because it is a reference tool uh, especially as in b2b content b2b uh, a marketing agency or b2b marketer or even for the telemarketer when they are actually uh, or even for the uh, b2b market especially when they are uh, selling business to business products this uh, tool or this uh, uh, product or which you can say uh, this uh, white paper as in document may help to actually gauge what is uh, all about the product and obviously uh, it may also help to get uh, the 
uh, on, on details on the hindsight about uh, the product as well. So project proposals, survey results, research data, written case studies. It isn't fancy, uh, but it's uh, super easy to use and will make the process of building white papers as quick as a snap. Make the white paper count, step one. First things first, if you're uh, creating ad hoc content that doesn't have uh, direct ties to business objectives, stop everything now. So creative, uh, effective content starts with understanding the strategy behind it, especially uh, with involved content like a white paper. Do your due diligence and ensure you have the basics of content strategy down. Okay, so before you get mm, neck deep into your into uh, in your white paper, make sure it's aligned to your top uh, priorities. Once as you are established a strategic uh, significance, we can get into the tactical execution. Uh, execute on the strategy obviously you have to find the strategy and now you're going to execute on the strategy by developing this tool or uh, this document uh, once you have the strategy down to a t it's uh, time to create the actual asset start by placing your logo in the page header so the tool used for creating obviously it's a word document i believe you just have to uh, create the company logo put together an easy to read title page this is uh, the title page about uh, title of white paper goes here with bold 22 uh, size research company company here authors here and you can write the date as well so this is the title page or the uh, cover page or the front page and uh, identify h1 h2 and subsections give your white papers consistency by identifying standard protocol for subsections and how information is organized uh, this helps readers understand more information at a glance and helps white paper authors more quickly put uh, together their information. Section title with the H1 paragraph copy goes here. This is where you introduce your subject and provide data to support your claim. Okay, perhaps this is where you include methodology etc. Just for the sake of writing more uh, to make this look more complete, I'll add a few more sentences. Make full line paragraph breaks. This helps the reader move, move uh, through the uh, text easier. This is because readers tend to jump from one sentence to, four, to first sentence, first sentence to first sentence when reading both online and offline. The first subsection title h2 okay this is a section title h1 they say h2 is the section the subsection the first subsection title maybe your idea has several subtopics that's good break out the copy and appropriate subsection headers that will help organize the information and usher the reader deeper into the text again if there are several paragraphs within the text don't be afraid to break those out one liners can even go on their own, own line Okay, the second subsection title sometimes within one section will have several examples. Here uh, is a good great way of uh, laying those out. The first thought Lorem Ipsum uh, Dollar Set Emmet uh, Consentector. Okay, this is the different sort of a language. Which I believe it's. Uh, it's, uh, it's Italian, I believe. The first thought, the second thought, or oh, the French, I believe it's a French, oh, but the sec for first uh, thought, the second thought. Okay, just point out the ideas in the in the, your sections, just dividing it into section title with a bit of the intro. Okay, and also you're going to have the subsection, you're going to have the with H1 and H2 breakout sections that need to stand alone not all pages need to be full of text some pages like uh, key uh, takeaways or breaks in thought can take up a full page but if you have a visual data okay you can put in the visual data just to support the whole document use a simple color uh, palette to bring attention to key thoughts this help readers bring the nuggets of information that they need quickly you can use a color that reflects your corporate structure or something more vibrant we suggest not you not using red because it's often associated with edits okay uh, put findings in all caps in company color followed by stats and other relevant information so Put findings in all caps in company color followed by stats and other relevant information.
yes this is how you're going to divide it into quarters and put fully baked ideas into easy one pages okay to get the full rally of your report bake one pages into the full document sales team can use these one pages for sale calls or buyers can hold on uh, to them for easy reference recall or summarization of major sections okay have a one page the first is there second okay ensure your pages look and feel consistent the designers are great at making documents look like uh, vogue uh, spreads we writers or content strategists can suck at it one uh, key is to take a look at the whole document and show that your pages have a similar style and feel obviously that's understandable limit yourself to one or two font families for titles and paragraph text use a narrow color palette throughout the document so the one pager uh, just to go through the one pager again uh, sales team can use these one pages for sales calls or buyers uh, can hold yes this is for when you are into it, uh, uh, getting all the details of the document this is for the marketing team or the sales team just to get a hold of uh, the idea about what is uh, it's all about the white paper so this in the end you'll have a professional caliber document that you can use for reports research case studies or data save your uh, dot docs x or doc files as a pdf file before finally finally sharing the asset it gives your document a final professional seal obviously right obviously obviously right so these are the a eight steps full process for writing a document which is a white paper document and uh, it's very very important especially as in marketing because uh, just behind the my experience as a marketing and also on a different levels with the uh, with the uh, uh, different products uh, so the document is very relevant when you are uh, during uh, the cold calls even during uh, the conversation you have to have a solid document in hand so that you can rely on it uh, which uh, which you can represent uh, as a, as a formal uh, part of uh, or the organization. So I'll end uh, my video here. I hope uh, to have uh, actually introduce a new actually video with a new concept and a very important concept when you are dealing with B2B uh, decision making. So I'll come up with some another video with an interesting concept very soon. Thank you very much. Take care and have a nice day.